Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM and today's tutorial we are going to see few of the questions and related answers about active wars. In last tutorials you might have gone through the various concepts about active wars and how to use the active wars in Informatica data director that is IDD. So let's have a look on few of the questions and the corresponding and answers to understand active wars a little more better. So very first question is what are the workflow processes we can configure in the active wars? Active wars can be configured for following workflow processes. The first is update with approval workflow. Second is one step approval workflow. Next two step approval workflow. Then we have the merge workflow and finally unmerge workflow. So these are the processes predefined in the active wars. If you remember this workflow you also can be configured in legacy BMP engine. So the same also can be pre predefined in the active wars. Next question, how do we process review task? In order to process review task we have to open all these tasks in the entity 360 framework view so that can be configured during the installation of mdm 10 and onwards version however if you want to see those the tasks in legacy idd application you can disable this 360 feature next question how do i access the entity 360 framework matching records view and cross-reference view. In legacy IDD application, we have the data view, xref view, history view, and match view. The same functionalities are also available in Entity360 framework. So we have the matching record and also cross-reference view. In order to enable or in order to access this view, we have to enable one of the property in cmxserver.properties file. The name of property is cmx.e360.match-xref.view.enable and we have to set this property as a true. During the installation of MDM10 and onward version, the default value is true. But if you are upgrading your MDM from previous version to MDM10, the default value is set as a false. So if you want to access this views in the IDD application make sure this property is enabled or this property is set to value true. To use these views you must use the active was workflow adapter based on the business entity. The next question if we use the subject area based active was workflow adapter which view do we use to create merge and unmerge tasks? This is very important and everyone should know about this. We know that there is legacy added application and entity 360 degree entity 360 application. We can use legacy matches view and the xref uh, legacy xref view to see the merge and unmerge tags. We can set cmx e360 match underscore xref dot view dot enable to false to use the legacy view to create the task for merge and unmerge. Whenever we upgrade to version 10.2 the cmx dot e360 dot match underscore xref dot view dot enable it's set false by default and that we already discussed in earlier question. How do we process existing merge tasks? So whenever there is a task merge or unmerge, how can we handle? Any merge task created prior to version 10.2 will open into the legacy match view, which we already discussed. There is four views, data view, extra view, history view, and match view. So this merge task will open in the match view. If you enable entity 360 framework that is 
if we enable that property in cmx server dot properties file merge tasks that are created in version 10.2 are open in the ntg 360 framework matching record view so these are the two view either legacy match view or matching record view can be used accordingly based on the the task in task which is created in particular version of the mdm how do you process unmerged task now recently we saw the how to handle the merge task now we are going to see how to handle the unmerged task all unmerged tasks open in entity 360 framework cross reference records view regardless of whether we enable this property or disable this if we use business entity activos workflow adapter which task inbox should i use <coughs> the answer is use the entity 360 framework task manager and task inbox in the informatica data director user interface that can be used for the configuring the start page and the entity view so we can configure the start page with the task manager and the task inbox if we use the legacy task inbox with the business entity active OS workflow adapter you will get error message so make sure you use the appropriate task manager and the task inbox in the default active OS workflows what happens when a user escalate a task declaims a task or or send a task for approval this task management very generic process which exists in the legacy system as well as in the new system it it is not doesn't matter if you're using mdm or idd for the task management or any other tool so these are very very normal tasks performed for the business process management so let's see what happens with case of active OS workflows when a user escalate a task declaims a task or sends a task for the approval the edit task dialog opens to allow the users to assign the task after particular once this is assigned the edit task dialog closes the task is escalated or declaimed or it is sent for the approval means that task will go into the the corresponding managers queue so these are the normal questions about the active OS. i hope these questions and the corresponding answers will definitely help you to understand active OS in better way thank you for watching my video and if you have any questions about active OS, you can mention the comment section of this video thank you and have a nice time